we came in, we uh, made a big play on special teams there at the beginning. That was big for us. And uh, we got the ball rolling and just kept pushing and kept pushing. And that's what uh, like having a, that love for the game is all about. And we just kept on grinding. I got, I got some great blocks downfield from my boy Jackson. And um, man, it, it just opened up clean for me. I squirted out on the other side and it worked out all good for it. Yeah, Jackson's got some great hands. I mean, we put him on, he does so much for us. He does. He, playing quarterback too he's throwing it he's running it he's doing he's doing all types of things for us and that's what we need for this team yeah i mean the defense was great they showed them out in the first half you know they're gonna keep making big plays keep getting big fourth down stops and keep getting turnovers and that's what it's all about yeah, our kids played with a lot of heart tonight um they prepared hard it was a short week uh they took the challenge west Warren is a really good football team and uh just proud of my guys the way they prepared the way they uh, were ready for this game and the way they played tonight our kids were ready to play. I think the opening kickoff, they tried to trick play. McCoy Harry made a great play. We got the football. I think we got some momentum early. I thought McKendry Douglas played fantastic. Um, Jackson Moore made a couple plays. Our offensive line did a pretty good job. Uh, so really it just, it was allowed us to get a little bit of a lead. Uh, certainly that big halftime lead allowed us just to kind of come out and try to keep the ball away. And you know, they fought like dogs, West Florence did. We knew they would to the end. and. Um, just like I said, proud of our kids. We did a great job. Uh, I, I didn't see a whole lot of it because I'm an offensive coach, but you know I could just tell by the production and the turnovers that our kids played hard. Uh, really got after it. Um, I thought we played really well on special teams tonight as well. Really a three-phase win, and you know in this conference you have to play like that to win, and uh, we did tonight. We tried to make something happen, didn't work. They uh they were really good tonight, man. That's the best. I'm sure Coach Callum stands for the best they played all year. They were just clicking, and uh, we didn't respond well. But I'm proud of my guys in the second half. Thought we came out and tried some new stuff, and read the option a little bit. There's some things that we uh, we're gonna have, we, we can use later on. It's just everything they did was right, man. Everything they did was right, and everything we did was wrong. And you know, if you're in this game long enough, you're gonna have nights like that. That's the frustrating part of being a coach. But uh, you know, I still love this group, man. I love this group to death. I love coaching them. They they are sponges. They listen. And we're gonna get back to work on Monday, and we're gonna we're gonna try to blind up Friday and play South Florence. And, you know, read the option a little bit, started kind of doing some things we're supposed to do, blocked a lot better up front, create a little space. We needed some space. We we didn't have much space this whole season. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm pleased. I know I'm, I'm frustrated, but I'm pleased in the second half.